Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 17th, you know? But the timing is fluid, so we're just gonna see what comes up, and when it happens, it happens, right? So, what do we have for a message today? Three cups. Three cups is a celebration. Could be a reunion. It's happiness. It's celebrating something. So it feels like, I don't know, it feels to me like there's some sort of get together, socializing, maybe having fun. Um, this is like a yay. That's, I don't know what that means, but you know what yay means. That's just what I saw by their hands. This is all happy so this is being all happy but it could also be a third party situation but um hmm. it feels like it's a i don't feel like it's a third well it could be i don't want to say that it's not anyhow um let's get some more cards king of rods so the king of wands is somebody that makes a decision this is somebody that makes a decision that is uh, doing the right thing. It looks like this person has some sort of vision. They have some sort of plan and they are following through with the plan, you know, and there's going to be some sort of get together or celebration or socializing. Okay. Um, I do believe it's something that you will be happy about. Somebody is probably going to be telling their friends all about it. You know, something you might want to tell your friends about it, you know, um, King of Rods, that so could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is action oriented, that is taking action. It's going to make somebody very, very happy, whatever this person is doing. Now, this guy usually is, is given to be, take action. Look, I've usually in a very noble way. So this is somebody that is very powerful because of all the red. This is somebody that is, is taking charge of a situation. So somebody's about to, to do something, um, and it looks like there's nobody going to stop them. This person is not going to be stopped. They have no fear. This guy has his sights on something, and he's going for it. Okay? He is. You know, he knows what he wants by the looks of things. He's very passionate about it. So this, this could be passionate love. It could be passionate hate. Whatever it is, this person is passionate about whatever it is that they're doing. And uh, looks like they're on the move by the looks of things. Four of Rods. Now, the Four of Rods is about happiness. Again, it's a get-together. This is a get-together, an upcoming celebration. Now, somebody's going to be celebrating. They're going to be celebrating something. There's going to be, this is like very happy news that is coming, definitely. There could also be somebody that is meeting up with, well, I already said get together. This is, a, this is like meeting up. Eight of Cups reverse. Now, the Eight of Cups upright is saying goodbye. It's leaving something emotionally disappointing behind. Reverse, it could be coming back. Something could be coming back. It could also be uh, somebody's uh, pretending to be happy. You know, they're superficial. They're ha they're they're superficial. They are. Um, not happy they're not happy but they're pretending to be happy somebody may be pretending they're in an emotionally disappointing situation and they won't leave they're staying put they're thinking about leaving but they're not taking any action the eight of cups reverse this is somebody that is you know pretending they're pretending that that they're not so disappointed and so they're not and they're staying put in a situation um What is this eight of cups hermit going within becoming aware 
somebody has become aware. They have gone through some sort of period of enlightenment. And they, they, it feels like they've, they've gained some sort of insight. Somebody has gained some sort of insight through solitude. And they may have wisened up. This is, cause this is a very wise individual. So somebody that may not want to be alone, you know, or they want to be alone. Somebody could be choosing to leave something they have been unhappy, been unhappy in, you know, and they're choosing to be alone. This is definitely somebody that I feel has gone within. I feel like maybe somebody has already left because of the Eight of Cups. They've already left, you know. Maybe there's going to be a reunion. Did I say that at the beginning? I think I did. This could be a reunion as well. So for some of you, there could be a reunion, but you know, there could not be as well because the hermit is a somebody that is a loner, that is single or chooses to be single or uh, may want to be single. It's a very independent energy where somebody is going within to become aware and they have gone in to become aware. They have become aware. Somebody has become aware of what happiness is by the looks of things because there's happiness behind them. So somebody has, they may have not seen that they were in a happy commitment or something like that, but it's like now they see because that's a visionary. So somebody may be seeing things. We've been talking about this a lot, haven't we? Anyhow, we have a very experienced individual here that has gained some sort of exp or enlightenment, maybe even life experience, because this is somebody that has gained some sort of wisdom, okay? from being in an emotionally disappointing situation. So somebody has gained some wisdom. Maybe it's this person, maybe sometimes it takes somebody leaving and there is a song about that, you know, for the people to wake up. So somebody has definitely become a consciously aware and it feels like they are now going to take action because this is somebody that is action oriented. Um, and there's an opportunity for happiness here. Absolutely, with those two cards, the three of the three of cups and the four four of wands. Um, you know, a lot of you will be like, "Well, I, I don't, I don't want somebody from the past." I didn't, I didn't say that. This four of wands could be somebody you meet along the path, okay, along your path, okay, because this is a path. It looks like we have two two groups or two people get, you know, they're meeting up and they're going down a new path. You know, they, it feels like they may not even know each other, okay? We may have somebody that has grown through solitude. You know, they've woken up. They've gone through a spiritual awakening. They've take, taken a time out to heal, you know, and now somebody is coming in. This person is a fighter. This person doesn't have fear. This person knows what they want. This is somebody that is very powerful, that is very passionate, that is a protector of some sort that is coming in. This could make this could be something that you tell your friends about that makes you extremely happy if you meet up with this person. So somebody may be meeting up with somebody, okay? They may be meeting up with somebody after they've been in hermit mode, after they've been alone, okay? After they've been, you know, uh, ghosted or not chosen, you know, they weren't chosen and they were forced to leave perhaps or, you know, but this is holding on to the emotionally disappointing situation. But I feel like somebody is, is has, has gone, you know, this is a conscious awake, awareness, awakening of some sort. It feels like somebody has, has gained some wisdom, you know, and now it feels like they're going to be taking action, you know, or they're going to be, uh, they're going to see something. They're going to run into somebody. It feels like it's a run-in. If it does, it feels like it's a run-in. Um, whoever this person is, they're running into somebody that is highly awakened. I feel like we have a very passionate individual who uh, is very, um, well, confident. This person is confident. They are... Uh, strong, they are enthusiastic. This is of somebody that is uh, I want to say boisterous, but it's not quite that much. You know what I mean? It's somebody that is um, 
knows what they want, put it that way. This person knows what they want. And they're, it's like when they see something, when they run into this person, it's like, that's the one I want, if that's your story. Um, whoever this person is, I feel like they are highly respected. They have a lot of life experience behind their back. And they have probably been through a similar situation, which has... Uh, caused them some pain in the past so I and I feel like why that that's why there's been solitude you know so anyway there's going to be something to celebrate there's going to be happiness there's going to be a get-together of some sort okay um Somebody could be sitting alone, you know, they're sitting alone, they're waiting, you know, and somebody just run, just walks into them, they, it walks right towards them. This is like walking towards them, something like that. It, feel, it feels like there's, you know, plans that, that are already made to do something, and these people just happen to cross paths. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um... <laughs> The devil reversed in the seven of pentacles. Now the seven, they've got somebody here that has planted seeds. They planted seeds a long time ago, or they manifested something a long time ago. They started the manifestation process a long time ago, and things are about to come up. Things are about to happen. You are about to receive some sort of reward for the hard work. Um, but we have somebody here that definitely has been waiting, probably thinking that there's not going to be any growth. But I do, if you, yeah, there is going to be growth. I, I do. Things are starting to pop up. Things are things are starting to happen. Now the devil reversed is breaking free, taking control, taking charge, take, breaking free from ego. It is. It's swallowing pride. It's severing ties from things that don't um, have long-term stability or long-term success. You know, it's it's letting go of ego and pride. Somebody somebody was bound to something that was unhealthy. Could have just been ego. Could have been a person. Could have been an addiction. Could have been all of the above. Anyhow, I think, but this is breaking free from those habits. Breaking free from those chains. And uh, and getting ready. I feel like we have somebody here that is getting ready to do something. They may be thinking about relocation. They're thinking about relocation. This is somebody that is taking charge. They are taking charge. So somebody is going to be taking charge. This is freedom. They have, they have been, they've, they've been awakened. They have been awakened. Something is definitely uh, going to happen that is going to make you happy. You may not think it's going to happen because this is like, uh, I don't know. I've, I've tried so hard. I've waited so long. Is it really going to happen? Yes, it's really going to happen. It's happening. Whatever it is, it's happening. Um... Now, <clears throat> the devil in reverse can be an extremely dark place. And if you think about the hermit, the hermit lives in a cave, okay, and, you know, to become enlightened. So I do believe that somebody has been in a very dark place. And they've been in a very dark place. And they've been extremely emotionally disappointed and it's over somebody leaving, over somebody leaving. And they've been thinking about their options, right? They've been thinking about what they were going to do. Now we, this person is going to do the noble thing because the king of wands is noble. 
So somebody is going to do the right thing based on what's good for everybody involved. This person has become awakened in some way through isolation, through solitude. You know, they may have been, maybe, maybe, maybe somebody has left and they've taken a time out to go within and to come up with a new plan, you know, to refocus, to set goals for their life. life. Anyhow, I do believe that uh, there's going to be some good news that is coming with the three of wands, uh, three of cups, and the four of wands. Whatever this is, it's it's a lot of happiness. Okay, this is something about commitment. It's it's about foundation. Somebody may be uh, building a new foundation. Um, they're going to be getting what they what they. Uh, invested in some time ago whether they manifested it some time ago but I think there's been some hurdles right there's been some addictions there's been some ego in the way there's been um, bad behaviors that has caused somebody I don't know maybe trauma you know with the devil reversed uh, anyhow we do have somebody that has seen the light in, in some way, or they're ready. They're ready to reconnect. They're ready to open up by the looks of things. This person is ready to take charge of their future after they have been hiding, okay? They've been hiding, they've been uh, disappointed. So anyway, um, there's some, somebody is going to be receiving something from an individual that has made a decision. This person has definitely made a decision. Uh, they have, uh, and they know what they want. And they're going to be, and it, it almost like this person makes a decision to be there. You know what I mean? Which is interesting. Or walk away, because Eight of Cups could be walking away. That could be somebody that is walking away. So anyway, there is going to be some sort of celebration <laughs> that is coming up. There is. There's also going to be a run-in of some sort. There is. There's going to be some sort of run-in where, you know, you're doing your own thing. You're going down some sort of path mm -hmm. and you run into somebody. You run into somebody that you probably thought you were never going to run into, you know. And this could be a soulmate with the Four of Wands. We could have a soulmate situation here. Um, so, yeah. This could be, you know, some of you could be on a social, you know, with the Three of Cups, could be a social, could be a dating site, could be if that, if, if you're on those, could be a dating site, could be social media, could be at a get-together, a party, and I know somebody's going to say, well, there isn't parties because there's COVID. Well, everybody's not you. I'm just saying. We all live different lives. So anyway, I do see a get together, or this could even be outside. It could be, there's, there's outside here. This could be on some sort of path where you're going for a walk, you know, or you're walking into a store, who knows what. There is going to be a run in of some sort. You're waiting in line for something. That could be the case as well. Um, either way, there is definitely gonna be some sort of I feel like it's a connection, okay? It's, I feel like it's a connection or a reconnection that is, you're going to want to tell your friends about it. That's what I got. Good luck.